on the channel. Today I've brought another example of analytical paragraph based on a table. These questions I've taken from previous year question paper, CBSE question paper for class 10th, 2022-23. So these two, as you can see on the screen, first one, it is based on a table. It was in a set two. The second one I've taken from set three of the annual examination. So I'll be providing you with easy solutions, easy explanation, and I'll also give you tips. Now, CBSC has introduced different types of questions based on analytical paragraph. It started with graphs like line graph, bar graph, pie chart, and then it introduced concept chart. After that, there was SWOT analysis. And this time in the sample paper that is released for 2023-24, there's another type of analytical paragraph in which you have to analyze a person, a candidature of a person uh, for voting for that person, whether you want to support the candidature of that person or you are going to oppose it. So before voting, you have to analyze the person's characteristics. So this, all these things, they are applicable in a day-to-day -day life. Now let's get started with this table. So first of all, the only thing why I am sharing all these examples with you because practice, it'll make you perfect. So the more you practice different types of analytical paragraphs, it'll be easy for you to write it in the exam. So any type of question that comes, you'll be able to write. So practice makes a man perfect. So revise as many types of examples as you come across. Now here is the first example. So this question, as I told you, I've taken from the question paper. So let's quickly read the question first and then I'll discuss the strategy. So given below are the pollution figures for some of the major towns and cities in India. So these are pollution figures that are given. So permissible limits are given there. Then it is for Ludhiana, Delhi, Mumbai, and Chennai. So these are the cities. So suspended particulate better is given. Then sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide. The contents and the levels are given. So this is the permissible limit, 280 and 80. Now, what you have to do before you start writing, it is important that you do a little calculation. Like you can calculate this. How much suspended particulate matter is more in case of Ludhiana? So 453 minus 200, it comes out to be this. So you can write it on one side. Then for Delhi, it is 480 points more. For Mumbai, it is 285 points more. And for Chennai, it is 62 points more. Similarly, for the side, so sulfur dioxide minus sign, it shows that it is 60 points less than the permissible limit then 44 sorry the other side nitrogen dioxide is 16 points less than the permissible limit for delhi it is more 44 and nitrogen oxide is also more for delhi mumbai and chennai it is given in minus so it is less than the permissible limit so this little calculation if you will do beforehand it will be easier for you to write so using the information given above along with your own ideas now own ideas you are not to write essay or you are not to suggest anything. It's very limited things. So write an analytical paragraph in 100 to 120 words. So now your strategy. So first of all, pick the city that shows worst numbers. So because you have to analyze, you have to compare among themselves. So pick the city that shows worst numbers. Now in this case, it is Delhi. So Delhi we'll be picking first. Then compare it with the permissible limits. So first thing you compare Delhi with the permissible limits. Then you take other cities and compare it with the permissible limits. And you can also compare it with Delhi's numbers. Then contrast it with other cities moving in descending order. So moving in descending order, now how I am going to do it. First, I'm going to take Delhi. Then Ludhiana and Mumbai, they're almost on the same line. So I'll be going from Ludhiana and Mumbai and last I'll be taking up Chennai. So in this order, I'll be moving. Then use the vocabulary to show analysis. Now, for example, in comparison to, in contrast to, whereas significantly high or low or slight increase or decrease, however. So this vocabulary I've discussed in my previous videos also. Then follow the format. Now format and it has to be in single paragraph. So format is this, there should be an opening line, which is called paraphrasing. Then the body should include the analysis that is compare and contrast, and then there should be a conclusion and everything should be written in a single paragraph. So this is how we are going to go about it. Now the solution. So here is the solution. So first the opening line that is paraphrasing. 
The data in the table shows the deterioration of air quality. So I have used the word it is deterioration of air quality because in the question it was pollution. So what is pollution? Deterioration of air quality in four major Indian cities. I have given the names of the cities Ludhiana, Delhi, Mumbai and Chennai. So now we come on to the body. The body where I will be comparing and contrasting. So the capital city, as I said, I'll be beginning from the worst. The worst is Delhi. So the capital city, rather than writing Delhi, I'm writing the capital city. The capital city suffers the most from poor air quality with SPM. So for suspended particulate matter, I'm using SPM. With SPM levels reaching 680, which is 480 above the allowable limit of 200. So I've given, I'm comparing it with the permissible limit. So permissible limit for SPM is 200 and how much is this above? 480 above the liable limit of 200. Even the sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide content are extremely high at 124 and 137 respectively when compared to the normal value of 80 for both. So I have contrasted it with the permissible limit. Now next as I told I'll be taking Mumbai and Ludhiana. So Mumbai and Ludhiana are almost on the same level. In both instances, the SPM is nearly 250 points more. Now, if I go back, now see here, 253 more and 285 more. So if we round about, I can say that 250 points, almost 250 points more. So it is nearly 250 points more than the maximum allowed. In contrast to Delhi, so I'm again contrasting this with Delhi now. So there are levels of sulfur dioxide 20 and 27 and nitrogen oxide that is 64 and 53 are markedly below the permissible limit of 80. So their levels of sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide as compared to Delhi, they are markedly below within the limit, which is a relief. So this comes as a relief. Chennai appears to be placed better than the other three cities. So Chennai, it is better than all the three. Its SPM level is merely 62 points above the permissible limit, though it is above, but it is merely 62 points. And its sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide levels at 45 and 34 respectively are well within the acceptable range. So conclusion is overall, Delhi is the worst city to live in while Chennai is the best in terms of air pollution. So this concludes your passage. So now you can see the green one, it is the opening line, that is the paraphrase. Then this black one with blue in between, that is the body. It, compare, it consists of comparisons and contrasting. And then the red one, that is the conclusion. Now the blue words, they are the functional vocabulary. The vocabulary that you have to use to use comparison and your contrast. So that is important. So I hope that this is clear. I have made everything clear step by step that how you have to write. Now I move on to the next question. Now this question that was in set three. So I'm reading the question first. Look at the data that is given below, which shows changes that have occurred between 2010 to 2020 in Jind regarding women's education. So write the paragraph in about 100 to 120 words interpreting the data. So you just here have to interpret the data. And here you see in 2010, and if you compare and go and have a look at 2020, so the numbers they have increased every time. So the numbers they have increased. So you have to keep this in mind. So now again, using the same strategy, so note the time period first. So the gap is of 10 events. The number in each case, it has increased. So you have to again use the vocabulary, the similar kind of vocabulary, follow the format, similar kind of format. There should be an opening line body and there should be conclusion. So let's move on and how we are going to write this. So the given table illustrates the changes. So these are the changes witnessed in the education of women in Jind over a period of 10 years from 2010 to 2020. So this is the first line as it is given in the question. So we have paraphrased this. So the detail we have given that it is over a period of 10 years. We have given that time period. It started, uh, sorry, 2010 to 2020. So now it is clearly evident that while only five new girls schools, they were opened between 2010 to 2020, the number of women's colleges increased dramatically from 23 to 34. 
So we are comparing now here within this data that the number of schools that opened, they were less, whereas colleges that were opened, they were more. So number of schools, only five schools, they were added over a period of 10 years, whereas colleges, there were 11 colleges that were added. As a result, so what happened? As a result, female student enrollment increased by 6,000 in schools and by 12,000 in higher education. So when colleges, they were more in number, so obviously enrollment was more in colleges and schools, it was 6,000. So as a result, female student enrollment increased by 6,000 in schools and by 12,000 in higher education. Consequently, the literacy rate multiplied condemnably, sorry, commendably and reached 70% from 50% in 10 years. So what was the result of this? The result was that literacy rate, it multiplied and it reached 70% in 2020 from 50% that was in 2010. Now, during the same time frame, addition of four new distance education centers was an added benefit for women's education in Jind. So, in general, the female literacy rate and enrollment in schools and colleges rose as the number of schools and colleges grew. So, what is the conclusion? The general observation is that female literacy rate as well as enrollment, both these things, they increased as the number of colleges and schools they were added. So in general, the female literacy rate and enrollment in schools and colleges rose as the number of schools and colleges grew. So I hope that this is clear. So if you are able to read the table carefully and decide beforehand that how you are going to write it, it becomes very easy. Now here, number of girls schools, you can see here it's given from 40 to 45, just five. So number of women's colleges, 23 to 34, as I said, 11. So increase of 11. Then number of students in schools, that increased in from 40,000 to 46,000. Now number of students in colleges, then literacy rate also increased and distance education center also increased. Now, even though here it's not written female student, but since this data, it is dealing with women's education. So I am supposing that this data is speaking about female students only. So this is the question and this is the solution. I hope that now this is very clear and it will be very easy for you to attempt any kind of analytical paragraph. So understand one thing that your time and your effort that is going to give you 100 on 100 high school. So your score, it is directly proportional to the amount of quality time and productive effort that you invest. So for that, you have to trust the authentic source. So subscribe to the channel for quick revision packages that I will be uploading by the end of the year. So bye for now and happy preparation.